Hi, George. Hi. It's good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Hi-ho, Keegan the Vlog here. <laughs> Welcome back to George's house. You may recognize this from the place where the Ferrari came from, right there. There used to be a giant truck right here. Yep. And today, this guy, a pin scour. So this guy needs a fuel pump, eh? A fuel pump, yes. All right. Uh, it's inside. Gas or diesel? Gas. Okay, good. It's close quarters. Okay. Um, uh, okay. And you get to it from the inside? From the inside, yeah, got through it. the passenger door. Okay. Let's uh let's see what we got here. Oh. See the fuel filter there? Uh, let's on the left side? Yes. It's down below that. File it down. Do, do, do. It's right there. Is it this thing right here? What? No, it's uh, this right here. Oh. 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 Ooh, those those fuel lines are a little little brittle. We got to be careful with that. Yeah, I got new ones. Okay, good. Uh, let's see what's holding it in. Two. It's on two studs. I have pictures in the book. Good, good. Uh, okay, yep. I I see them. They look like tens. Yeah. Tiny little thing, isn't it? I think we can tackle this. Well, it sounds complicated in the, in the service manual. All right, let's take a look at the service manual. He has a service manual, step one. Yes, and it's in English. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're winning today, folks! <laughs> All right, let's the see. engine at top dead center position. And I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Put it in neutral. And Put it in neutral, turn, yeah. turn it over. Um, okay. So we have to find top dead center. Where, let's see, where is the adjustment that you can do on it? If distance is too great, insert an appropriate number of gaskets. Okay, so you shim it with more gaskets yeah. if you need to. Okay, before mounting, fill pump bottom with grease. Yeah, I got a new tub of grease. So. Okay. Well, first things first, we got to get the, we got to get the old pump off and we have to find top dead center of the engine. Right. Got it. Oh, you got it. I haven't gotten the line off yet, but I did. the The nuts are coming off nice. They're they're okay. very, not very torqued, torqued at all. It's not every day you get to get your hands dirty on a pen scour. That's pretty cool. One ringy dingy. One ringy dingy. All right. Whoa! Look at that. And the uh, the input side came off. With just twisting it. Mm -hmm. The output side is uh, being a little. All right, got it. Would you get the nuts off and it still won't come out? Yeah, it still feels like it's like something's holding it down. There we go. Come on. You got that. I got it. Came off a little bit. It's just, uh, the geometry is very tight. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. One, yeah, okay. one there, and there's, there should be one here, but there isn't. Let's see if it's attached to the, to the bottom of the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Well, that probably just means this has been replaced before and some like <laughs> left, left that off. All right, so let's uh, let's have a look at, at the new one. What we really need to do is figure out how to get this motor at top dead center um, in order to do this measurement. And I just don't know how to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna consult the interwebs. Great friends of the podcast, I believe we have our answer. Right there. There's there's a mark. It looks like there's one right there. Um let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Alright. You don't happen to know what the, the actual direction of rotation is on this, do you? No. Alright. Right there. Okay. So there's a chalk mark 
on the crank pulley. There's a chalk mark on the crank pulley right here. Oh yeah. And then there's this little thing here. Yeah. Where you line it up. So it's right on. Yeah, yeah, I just rotated it over there. So now the question is, if we do this measurement, so actually watch that. I'll go, I'll just, for the for the fun of it, put, put shine the light right there. You should see that go up and down. A small amount, but. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's going up. Yep. Look at that. Yeah. So it should be. So that is, looks like it's over 10. It's supposed to be nine. So you gotta put gaskets on. Uh, yeah, well, that's, oh right. God, we have to put gaskets on. There we go. That's right. n that's nine. All right. Excellent. Look at that. How about that? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Yay! So we need between one and one and a half millimeter uh, between the base of the pump or the base of the housing where the pump sits and the and the bottom of the pump, and we achieve that through these gaskets. So um, what we don't have here is feeler gauges. So I think what we're gonna end up doing is, uh, look at that. Uh, what we're gonna end up doing is, uh, I'm just trying to determine the thickness of it. it the pump that came off had one gasket. Uh, so this is kind of one of those things where it worked before. So let's uh, let's go with that. And uh, if if something doesn't work, we can uh, we can add we can shim it one more time. I mean, these are tiny. This is this is you know a, a, a half a millimeter, a quarter of a millimeter thick. So uh, and that worked for how long? How how many years did it work for you before? Seventeen. Seventeen. So I think that's pretty good. That's a pretty good track record. Okay, before mounting, fill pump bottom with grease. We filled the pump bottom with grease. Okay. Is it on? It's on. Uh, in that busket, in the the little glass or the cup, there is the is the nuts. This is a lot easier than doing a transmission swap on a yeah. I've been watching your video. Oh god, it's gotten crazy with all the little balls and everything. Oh my out. god, I hate automatic transmissions with a passion. <laughs> uh, uh, and then I've been trying to. Uh, to swap in the manual gearbox that was from Jerome's parts car, mm. um, which is a five series, not a three series, mm -hmm. but they use the same engine and transmission. Mm. But this transmission is the earliest version of it, so there's subtle differences. Of course. Yep. The bell housing is like three quarters of an inch deeper. Mm. Uh, what else is there? Um, the mounting for the shifter is all different. So there's like this adapter bracket that BMW has because they used it in an M3. Luckily, it's still available. <laughs> Can pull that off if we need to. But that's that's it. Jeez. Is there any way to prime this thing? I've got starter fluid. Yeah. You just spray it right in here. Yep. Well, should we play the Will It Start game? Yeah, I guess. Let's get the tools out of here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fuel pump replaced on a pin scour. What year is this? 73. 73. 73 pin scour. So you want starter fluid? Or... No. Let's have it on the handy. Let's have it, have it ready just okay. in case we need it. And uh, do you have is have an oil pressure gauge? I do. Okay. 
Just make sure it's building oil it's pressure. It's not a gauge, but it's a light and it goes out. It goes out when, okay. So you can tell if it's, if it's got building oil pressure. Yeah, it does. I actually see neutral. Yeah. We ready? Go for it. <laughs> The, the filter's filling up. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because it wasn't before. Yeah, filter's filling up. So it, it's not quite, uh, it hasn't filled up enough to get. Yeah, because yeah, it wasn't, I cranked it a lot and then it, the nothing, filter never came Nothing, nothing. Okay, so the pump's working. Yep. Cool. Okay, you should get something here shortly. You could let it warm up. It's, it hasn't been warm in a long time. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Is there a parade coming up? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I missed the parade. They had a oh, shoot. parade last month, a community parade, and they were looking for military vehicles in our community. Uh, don't! But Next time, I'm Gadget. i try and start it again. Yeah. Oh. Something was living in there. Yeah. yeah. That was healthy. Yeah. Awesome. Truly awesome. That's great. I couldn't be happier. Nice. We did it! Yay! Now we just have to put, the, put it all back together. Yeah, if you can help me. Yeah, it, I can. Yeah. I'll put it. Yeah. All right, we did it. We got a Pinscower running. Thanks for watching. See you next time.